And happening right now, take a look at this, the city of Chicago, kind of busy tonight, John. They've got something going on. They're blocking off the streets there. They're setting up for the city's first World Series victory parade in 108 years. Again, a live look at Wrigley Field now, where the parade kicks off tomorrow at 11 o'clock. And, of course, you can see it all live on WTHR.com. Last night, Eyewitness News brought you a special story about a man from North Carolina who drove all the way to Greenwood to sit by his father's grave and watch the Cubs win the World Series. And what happened after we aired that story last night was simply magical. In fact, it went viral online. In fact, millions of people across the world watched it, including Cubs pitcher Justin Grimm. And tonight, our David McAnally shows us how Wayne Williams' beautiful story is inspiring others. I was expecting maybe rain or whatever. But no way was Wayne Williams expecting what he got. Just hours after his graveside World Series vigil in Greenwood. A promise to his dead father that they would someday enjoy a Cubs World Series together. <laughs> By a Cubs pitcher or catcher. So now I got the Cubs broadcast. The morning after. Busy. Unbelievable. Um, it's, it started at probably 8.30 this morning. And uh, it's just been going on constantly. Calls from sports networks. My daughter got a call from the... Toronto Star. I've been interviewed on WGN in Chicago. TV news and newspapers in his home state of North Carolina wanted his story, too. Why did he make the day-long drive to Indy to catch the Cubs by his dad's side? Here's the 0-1. This is going to be a tough play. Play it. The Cubs win the World Series! His story went viral. On social media, others joined the experience. From Chicago, Eric Gilson tweeted this photo, sharing Cubs win with his father and grandfather. For me, being a Cubs fan has always been very emotional. It was something that got passed down to me from my dad and his dad before him. And when my dad passed away in 2001, I always promised myself that I would be able to experience that with him. From Bloomington, Kyla Porter Facebooked this photo of her dad and son in matching Cubs shirts. She will decorate the graves of four generations of Cubs fans this weekend. He never stopped believing the Cubs would win the World Series again, even when he knew he wouldn't be around to see it. You were right, Dad. I wish you were here to celebrate with your next three generations. It's a passion that bridges this world with the next and with the next generation. It's the biggest bond between me and my boys. If something we can talk about, no matter what else is going on, we can talk about the Cubs. <laughs> Wayne said, like a lot of young people, when he was growing up, he reached that point where he just wanted to be different from his dad. Right. So mm -hmm. he started supporting Milwaukee. Milwaukee? <laughs> yeah. And, but that didn't, last, that didn't last too long. So he must be missing that bond, huh? No yeah, I think, he, I think he, missed, I, yeah. he missed having yeah. that. Yeah. You've had a lot of people calling you today saying, how can I get in touch with him, right? Yeah, lots of people from all over the country, news organizations, people who are working on special yeah. projects. Mm -hmm. They're really touched by this guy. I mean, it's, it's a story that if it weren't sports, it could be almost anything. That's but right. it's the bond between parents and, and kids. It's a story about love. Absolutely. All right, David, thanks so much. Yeah,